Now, here's a question that's sometimes straightforward, but in this case, it's uh, the number is a little bit more complex. We're asked to find two integers that have a sum of 405 and a product of 9,500. Now, we're going to again let the first integer uh, be represented by x, and we're going to let the second integer be represented by 405 minus x. Um, and the reason for that is, let's say our first integer is 1. Well, then our other integer is going to be 405 minus 1, which is 404, because then they have a sum of 405, 1 plus 404. Or another example would be if x is 2, then 405 minus 2 is 403, and then the sum of 2 and 403 is 405. So you just uh, let you know where this 405 minus x is coming from. Now, we're also told that the product of the two numbers are, or the two integers are, is 9,500. So remember, we're going to write this as the product of x and 405 minus x. So we write that as 405, I sorry, x times 405 minus x um, is equal to 9,500. So we're going to expand using the distributive property again. And x times 405 is 405x, and x times negative x is negative x squared. So what we're going to do is rearrange the equation, and we're going to put the x squared term first. And remember, the sign stays with the variable, stays with the term. And so negative x squared, and this is plus 405x. And when we subtract 9,500 from both sides to bring all the terms over to the left-hand side of the equation, we end up with minus 9,500. So now we could um, factor this trinomial, but it would be more or less guess or check, and we may, in that case, we may have well just solved the question that way. So what we're going to do is use our quadratic formula here, and our, remember our quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're going to identify a, b, and c here a is negative 1, the coefficient on the x squared term, b is 400, positive 405, and c is negative 9,500. So now what we're going to do is sub into our quadratic formula, and we end up with uh, basically this mess, but just watch all your signs and make sure you sub in carefully. And I would double, triple check when you do this on your calculator. And so I'm simplifying it a little bit. What 405 squared is 1,000, uh, sorry, 164,025, and minus, and this will be, remember we've got a minus, a negative times a negative, which is going to be a positive, so this is positive 38,000, uh, so minus uh, 38,000, and 2 times negative 2 is, sorry, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So there's two possibilities here one where we subtract the square root of the discriminant and one where we add the square root of the, the discriminant and in the first case where we're adding then we're going to simplify um, and sorry the other cases where we're subtracting and if we simplify here okay in you can do this on your calculator a number of times just watch your order of operation you should get an answer of 25 and then 400 minus um, x, 405 minus x, remember, was the second integer, and in that case, we get 405 minus 25, which is equal to 380. And uh, realize that, remember, we said the sum of the two integers was 405, 25 plus 380 is 405. The other possibility, when we simplify all this, we get 380, and Again, 405 minus x would be 405 minus 380, which is 25. So either way, we end up with our two integers, and the two integers are 25 and 380. And we can double check that because 380 times 25 is 9,500.